Welcome again to Fox Comics and Games in beautiful downtown Marion, Illinois. And we're starting off today's video a little bit differently because we've been getting a lot of uh, very useful feedback from those of you online, some in our area, some from outside our area, that would like to see some of the other items that come in. They wanted to know if the comics were all we ordered and yada, yada, yada. So we thought we would do a little bit better job of showing some of what an order is at Fox's every Tuesday. So we're going to start off with some of the uh, figurines and statues. Uh, we're going to start with the Avengers Infinity War from Marvel Gallery. Uh, this is the Thanos, uh, and as you can see, it's gorgeous. Uh, beautiful diorama. Uh, next up will be from X-Men, Rogue. Uh, she's uh, fantastic. Uh, really well done. Nice mold. Next up, from DC's Gallery Deluxe, we have Batman, the animated series, and it is Harley Quinn, uh, the 25th anniversary edition, and it's Harley sitting on Batman's back. As you can see, that's, it's just utterly fantastic. And then also this week, we got in some more of the new Teen Titan uh, uh, Robins from DC Collectibles. Uh, these will reconstruct to show the entire um, first cover of the new Teen Titans. Uh, you can rebuild it, and it will look... Eventually, they all fit together like that, and uh, we've been uh, selling quite a few of these, so if you're interested, please get down here quickly. There's only 5,000 of each, so they are going quickly. Also today, we wanted to show uh, some beautiful magnets, uh, uh, Mighty Morphin Power Ranger refrigerator magnets. There are six different designs, and they're really, really cool, nice, and then some uh, also some uh, Sabin's Rangers power cards, uh, just a regular deck of cards, but we like to call them power cards. Um, and then getting on with some of the, the rest of the order, we're going to start off with some of the manga we got in. We got in the most recent Is It Wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon. Um, also, we got in um, is issue six or book six of Death March Rhapsody. That's in as well. Uh, then some of the trade papers we got in this week, just restocking, most of it is just restocking, uh, New 52, Flash, Volume 1, Black Bolt, Volume 1, uh, reordered, um, Star Wars Darth Vader, number 3, several of those are in, uh, quite a few Kingsman Red Diamonds were reordered, uh, several The Boys, Garth Ennis, uh, Invader Zim, Issue 1 and 2. Uh, quite a few of those are in, uh, restocks. Uh, Rose, Volume 2, great book from, from Image. If you're not reading it, you should. Uh, and then we have some uh, Penny Dreadful trade papers. And that's Penny Dreadful, Volume 1. That's Penny Dreadful, The Awakening, Volume 1. Uh, then some of the other trade papers that we got in this uh, restock this week. We got in quite a few Bitch Planet number 1s. Monstrous number ones, um, Brian Woods Rebels, uh, these free and independent states volume ones, um, Paper Girls from Brian K. Vaughn, volume one, two, three, and four, all restocked. Um, then uh, Cochet the Deathless uh, is in as well. So that will be the restocks for our trade paperbacks. And now we begin the comics for this week. Sorry for all the shuffling around. Uh, we start with issue four of Action Lab's Aberrant. Then from Marvel, issue five of The Amazing Spider-Man. Archie Comics and Mark Wade bring us issue one of Archie, 1941. And I think that's kind of self-explanatory. There's 1,941 different Archies. No, that's not what that means. Uh, next up, from Image, a uh, fantastic book. Uh, great art has been strong throughout. It's issue 23 of Beauty. Uh, also from Image is issue 31 of a very strong title as well, Birthright. Great art, great story. Uh, then next up, from Dark Horse, Issue 10 of BPRD, The Devil You Know. Some Mike Mignola. Uh, and then from DC, we have Issue 3 of Catwoman, Iced. 
Uh, this has been phenomenal. Anybody that's not reading it, it's Joel Jones writing it and drawing it. Um, beautiful book, well written, uh, very much worth picking up. Uh, next up, one that is highly anticipated here at Fox's. Uh, Warren Ellis always sells well in our store, as do image number ones, obviously. Uh, but it is Warren Ellis's Cemetery Beach uh, for Image Publishing. Looks fantastic, very stylistic art. Uh, Mr. Fox is quite excited to get that uh, homed and read it tomorrow. Uh, next up from Marvel, we have Champions, issue 24. And from Dynamite Publishing, we have issue 4 of Charlie's Angels. And uh, that's kind of what the variant cover looks like, kind of a uh, roller derby kind of thing. Uh, next up from Image Publishing, Crowded, Issue 2. And then next up from Marvel, Issue 608 of Daredevil. And then from DC Publishing, we have Issue 988 of Batman Detective Comics. Gorgeous cover on that, as there is on the variant cover, which they always do a great job with the variant covers here recently from DC, and that is no exception. Uh, then up from Dark Horse as well, Disney's Frozen, issue two. Great for the kids, really well done, well drawn, good story. Everything about it is superb. Uh, next up from Marvel, issue six of Domino. Uh, then from Dynamite Publishing, issue two of Elvira, Mistress in the Dark. Um, and then from Marvel, we have issue eight of Exiles. Then also from Marvel, we have issue two of the Fantastic Four. Dan Slott's working on this. And some of the uh, variant covers for issue two Fantastic Four. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And then this is actually, this one was in our top five best covers of the week. Uh, it was fantastic. Speaking of top five covers of the week, another one that is in our top five is from Image this week, and it is Rob Gilroy's Farmhand, issue number three. And you can see it's made up of different plants and leaves and things. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous, well done cover. Then DC brings us issue 54 of The Flash. And as they always do, a beautiful, beautiful variant cover. Kind of uh, poignant being September 11th. Uh, kind of a stark reminder of what 17 years ago was like in the United States. Uh, coming down out of that building. Uh, next up from DC, issue 4 of Hawkman. And another one of our top five covers of the week was the Hawkman variant cover. Fantastic. Great work by DC. Then next up from Image Publishing, we have Volume 3, Issue 1 of Headlopper. And this comes out once every quarter. And uh, it's actually been kind of a very interesting book. Next up we have from DC Vertigo, uh, the Sandman Universe, House of Whispers, built on the uh, Neil Gaiman world, and then that's uh, the variant cover for House of Whispers. Um, next up, we have from Marvel, Iceman, issue one, and it is the first issue, Cool New Era, and uh, kind of a whimsical variant for Iceman, number one. DC brings us issue six of The Immortal Men. Marvel offers up Infinity Wars, issue three. Dark Horse Publishing brings us a new run for Joe Gollum, a cult detective. This is issue one, and this is going to be a five-shot series of something called The Drowning City for Joe Gollum. So very, very interesting. Uh, next up from Boom Studios, a new title of theirs, which is going to also be a five-comic run, is called Low Road West. Looks interesting. Uh, Image Publishing is up next, and they bring us issue seven of Maestros. And 
And then next up from Joe Casey and Image Publishing, issue one of whatever that is. I don't know my Roman numerals well enough, MCMLXXV, but that is issue one of that. Uh, next up from Marvel is issue 34 of Miss Marvel. And uh, next up after that is Mystery Science Theater 3000, the comic, issue one from Dark Horse Publishing. Also from Dark Horse Publishing, Neil Gaiman's American Gods, My Einzel. Then from Image Publishing, we have issue three of The New World. Quite a few people reading that one. Uh, then from Valiant Publishing, and if you're not reading Valiant, you should. Issue 11 of Ninja K, or Ninjak as some of us still call it. Uh, then also from Image Publishing, we have issue 7 of Robert Kirkman's Oblivion Song, which is really starting to round out into a nice book. If anybody's not reading it, jump on while you're still in the single digits. Great time to get in. Uh, next up from Marvel. Old Man Logan, issue 47. Also from Marvel is issue 309 of Peter Parker, The Spectacular Spider-Man. Great cover on that with time running out. Uh, then from DC, we have issue 4 of Plastic Man. And uh, then also from DC, we have issue 26 of Red Hood and the Outlaws. And a beautiful, beautiful, uh, it finished in the top five of our best cover. Um, the variant cover for Red Hood out in the Outlaws issue 26. Fantastically well done. Then from Marvel, we have issue 13 of Runaways. From DC, we have issue 29 of Scooby Apocalypse. Hey, Scoob! And then from Burger Books, we have issue two of The Seeds. And that reminds me of right where Mrs. Fox punched Mr. Fox this morning was in The Seeds. But that's a different story. Then next up from DC, we have issue eight of Sideways, which is how Mr. Fox walked after getting hit in The Seeds. And then from United Plankton Pictures, we have SpongeBob Comics number 84. And for those of you youngsters out there, this is a great book. Well done, well drawn, good stories. Get you some SpongeBob. Uh, next up from IDW, issue three of Star Trek, The Next Generation, Terra Incognita. Fantastic book. Uh, then next up from Marvel, issue 21 of Star Wars, Darth Vader. And as they like to do, they always have some beautiful variant covers. And uh, that is no exception there. Then also from Marvel, issue six of Star Wars, The Last Jedi. DC brings us issue 46 of The Suicide Squad. And again, just a testament to what a great job DC is doing with their variant covers right now uh, for that Suicide Squad variant. Uh, next up from DC also is issue 22 of Supergirl, sometimes referred to as Mrs. Fox. And then there's the gorgeous Supergirl issue 22 variant cover. Uh, a fantastic issue 3 cover for DC on Superman. And again, one of Brian Michael Bendis' uh, books, uh, Superman Issue 3, one of the variants. Uh, and the runner-up to our cover of the week is another one of the variants for Superman number 3. Great cover, well thought out, well executed. Next up from DC, we have Issue 25 of the Titans. And uh, a beautiful, beautiful in our top five covers of the week variant for Titans. Uh, next up we have issue three from Marvel of Venom, First Host. We're all pretending it's not Peter Parker. 
Uh, next up from Marvel also is issue 7 of Weapon H. And then from Image Publishing, we have issue 39 of Karen Gillan's The Wicked and Divine. Great book. Next up from DC, we have Wildstorm, Michael Cray, issue 11. Another fantastic cover from DC for Wonder Woman 54. Just fantastic. Uh, another runner-up to our cover of the week was the Wonder Woman uh, variant cover. Mr. Fox gets in trouble for always voting for Wonder Woman, so I skew the, skew the voting somewhat. Uh, then from Ahoy Comics, we have issue one of something new called The Wrong Earth. Looks very, very good. Marvel brings us one of our top five covers as well this week. Issue four of X-23, just a gorgeous cover, well executed. Marvel also brings us X-Men Blue, issue 35. And now I notice you're probably thinking, I didn't see the cover of the week this week. Well, we wanted to save it for last because it is so beautiful. It is Joelle Jones's Catwoman, issue three. That is just a phenomenal piece of work. And if you bought that comic for nothing else other than the artwork on the front, I would not think any less of you. So that's what I think. But we hope to see you at Fox's on Wednesday, September 12th, when all these things go on sale. Thanks so much.